All right, we're trying to help you organize your life. Amy Volk with Simplified Living is here with us today on how a little organizing and planning ahead can go a very long way for your fitness goals. Welcome, Amy. We're always talking about getting organized, and right. you always have your bins, but for Fitness Week, what do we need to know? Okay, so we've all set these really great mm -hmm. resolutions for 2012, and it's, you know, halfway yeah. into the month, <laughs> and, it, you know, you kind of get into the dailiness of, well, here I am, but I'm busy, and I have a lot yes. to do, so how to actually make this happen? So I, I came up with six things uh, that will just help you stay on track, and it does take a little bit of planning, which is mm -hmm. the organizing part, to, to when you're busy and you're managing mm -hmm. a work and kids and all of that how do I make this happen? And that's what I'm going to show you here okay. today. So number one is um, I want you to think about packing a gym bag the night before. So right. even if you uh, think, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get to the gym or I don't know if I'm going to be able to work out, have the bag packed and ready in your car because if, if something would change in your schedule or something opens up, you can then have everything with you to mm -hmm. go right to the gym and make it work. So pack your bag the night before. That's always what mm -hmm. I do. It, sometimes it sits in the car for a couple of days, <laughs> but, right. it, but at least it's but there. But you're probably more likely to go right. if you know it's in your car and you don't have to drive home because once you get home, sit on the couch, it's kind of Who like, wants to I'm go done. back out? Yeah. Well, and then you don't have an excuse of why well, I don't have my stuff with yes. me. So that's the number one okay. thing. I tell people, decide at the beginning of every week, not if I'm going to work out, but when I'm going to work out. So okay. if you're going to say I'm going to work out two days a week, three days a week, whatever calendar you use, this is my iPhone, mm -hmm. I put it in here, or if you have a paper calendar, schedule it like you would a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment. So if you look at your calendar and you say, mm -hmm. you know, on Wednesday I can work out at four, okay. put it in there, make an appointment with yourself to work out. That's a good idea. Because otherwise we think, well, I'm going to fit it in. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, fitting it in mm -hmm. is why we don't go. Yeah. So make an appointment with yourself. Okay. Number three is, and I talked to um, the trainers at Waring's Gym in Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. What are some things that they suggest? They suggest a pre-workout uh, snack, ha half a piece of fruit, make sure you have your water bottle with mm -hmm. you. But again, that all can go into your gym bag so okay. that you have your snack. You're not starving when you yeah. start to work out. <laughs> Keep some snacks in your car. Okay. Have your workout bag. Um, there have several options to work out. The gym's not the only answer. Mm -hmm. um, have things at home. Yeah, I have some equipment at home, and these are just some simple things that anyone can have that mm -hmm. don't take up a lot of space. Have some DVDs. If okay, if I can't get to the gym, mm -hmm. I can work out. When my kids were little, yeah, I rarely got to the gym. I was always doing it at home. Some bands, a kettlebell, some light weights. Gotcha. So that there's okay. no excuses. You're gonna have. You're gonna be prepared and be organized to work out. And then, if let's say I have 30 minutes or mm -hmm. I have 20 minutes, what are some actual things? Well, the trainers at Waring said, okay, here they gave me an actual workout that you could do in 30 minutes, and all it requires is what you see right here. It doesn't even require going to a gym, and that'll be online okay. that people can look at. Okay. So you can use body weight mm -hmm. resistance and all of these things. DVDs. Go outside. Mm -hmm. bring, you know, push your stroller. Bring your kids and all of that. Then do hire a trainer if you're stuck because a lot yeah. of times we have good intentions, but we are ha it's accountability. Mm -hmm. So I put on here hire a trainer if you're getting stuck or you need a more um, customized fitness plan. Mm -hmm. And too, if you have a trainer, once they get you on a schedule, right. they can kind of you can kind of wean off of them and then exactly keep doing it on your own. Right. And then last thing on here, and I didn't bring any of this, but that is get your kitchen organized mm -hmm. and I have a whole thing that they'll be online that people can go and, and print off about okay. getting your kitchen organized to promote this healthy fitness and um, and that being organized in the kitchen and being organized in this way help you stay on track for your goals for this year. Gotcha. All right, Amy, always a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks so much. Of course, to get in touch with Amy, we're going to link all of that information she just talked about to our website at thehamptonroadshow.com. Thanks.